All right, so for your strength and conditioning, we're going to start off with one circuit that's kind of going to hit a little bit of everything, and then we're going to finish off with some core work. So we're going to get ourselves warmed up first. Ten jumping jacks. Whether you're going to do ten high impact jacks or ten low impact jacks. And once you have done your ten, we're going to alternate ten front lunges. Keep the lunge nice and small. We just want to get those hips, knees, ankles warmed up, ready to rock and roll. So you don't have to get that back knee right to the floor. Five on the left, five on the right to make up your 10 reps. Once you have done your 10, we'll do leg swings front and back. Feel free to hold on to something for balance if you need to, but get your eyes onto a focal point. Keep your abs nice and tight and just spin the arms with the legs. We're gonna do 10 swings on each leg. And once you have done your 10 leg swings, just getting these hips a little bit more warmed up, ready to rock and roll. But once you've done your 10, we're gonna come down onto the floor. High plank or push-up position. We're gonna go into a spider climb with the rotation. And you can elevate your hands off the floor to make this movement easier. But we're in our hands, toes, we're gonna to step wide. Open up towards your ceiling. Set your foot back, same thing, other side. Eyes follow the hand to the ceiling. We're gonna open up through the shoulder, chest and the hip. We'll do five on the left, five on the right to make up your 10. And once you have done your 10, stay down in the plank position. And we're gonna finish with either 10 plank to taps or 10 plank jacks. So we'll jump or step the feet out to the side, 10 reps total, and then we'll get rocking and rolling. Perfect. All right, so what you're going to need some weights for. We're actually gonna grab a seat back down on the floor. Now, if you don't want to sit on the floor, you can sit on a chair, you can sit on a ball, you can sit on um, a workout bench. But we're going to do one arm presses. Five on the left, five on the right. From there, we're going to stay down on the floor. We're going to do something called a push up with a reach, and I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One way is using a dumbbell, the other way is just keeping both hands on the floor. So this is how it's going to look. Knees or toes with your push-up. We got one hand on the weight if you want. You'll do one push-up, and then you're gonna take the hand on the floor and reach straight out in front, like you're trying to grab something in front of you. Put the hand back down, do another push-up, and then reach. So you can do that also with your hands elevated. Just don't use a weight. I just don't want you to slip. So if you want to put your hands onto a staircase, a workout bench to make it easier, you can do that. Once we have done this push-up with a reach, we're going to go into a tricep push-up, and then we get to stand up. So we're going to need weights for the one-arm press. We're going to need weights to do a one-arm clean and press, goblet squats, swings with the dumbbell or kettlebell, and deadlifts. So you may have a couple of different things out and ready to rock and roll, and that's totally fine. I'm going to grab another weight. And everything is done for either 5 reps or 10. You can stay on my count. You can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. But meet me down on the floor. Um, actually, I'll just use this one here. So again, you can use a ball or a bench or a chair. You do not have to come down here with me. So get your feet nice and wide like the letter V. We're going to tighten up your core. So we have this nice tall posture. And I want you to pick the side left or right. Here we go, we got five reps. So we're gonna get that bicep to ear. Now doing the um, shoulder press from the floor, more of a challenge than standing. I've got one left, and then we're gonna switch. It's gonna force you to use your core a lot more. Now if you're tighter in the hamstring, get those feet wider, you may need to bend the knees, totally fine. Good, I've got one left, perfect. All right, so push up with that reach. Knees, toes, Elevate your hands, or just keep both hands 
on the floor. All right, here we go. One push up, followed by one reach. Good. One push up, knees or toes. Reach like a Superman, flying through the air. Good. Two more on this side. Up. And last one. Perfect. Good. We are switching sides. Here we go. Five. Reach. Four. Keep your eyes on the floor. Abs nice and tight. Squeeze your butt. We're going to do one more. We're going to bring the hands in closer together. We'll do a tricep push up. So line up the hands with the shoulders, knees or toes. Drop the chest straight down, push away from the floor. Keep those elbows tucked in. I do not care how low you go. You got five total. I've got one more left after this, and then we get to stand up. Nice, good, come on up. All right, so grab your dumbbell or kettlebell that we're gonna use. One arm clean to overhead press. Five left, five right. So we're gonna squat down. We're gonna zip up that coat. Drop the elbow down, and then press it overhead. Rinse and repeat, here we go. Up, and press, good. Three more, keep those eyes up. Abs nice and tight, good. Push those hips back into the squat. We got one more, and then we get to switch. Perfect, good, switch it out. Here we go, zip up that coat, press it up, good. Get that bicep to ear. Do that quick little posture check. Abs are tight, eyes are up. Now we're pushing those hips back into your squat. Nice work. Two more. Up. And then goblet squats. I need one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Whatever you prefer to hold on to. And we're gonna bring the weight in front of the chest. Make your feet a little wider. Here we go. We got 10. Nine, you got it. Eight, push those hips back. Eyes are up. Good, push the floor away with the feet. We got four, three, two, last one. Perfect, all right, I'm gonna grab something a little heavier for my swings. Dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you've got. Weight is in front. Soft the knees, soften the knees, push the hips back. Roll those shoulders back. Eyes are up. Here we go. High pass, swing through. You're basically doing a high speed deadlift, keeping your abs nice and tight. Eyes are up. Good, pushing those hips back. In five, four, three, two, last one. Park that weight. Awesome, we got five deadlifts. You can hold on to one dumbbell or two. We're gonna get the weights in front of the legs. Pull those shoulders back, soften your knees. Here we go. Push your hips back. Get that nice stretch in the hamstring. Squeeze that butt all the way up. Keeping your eyes up, don't look down at your feet. Two more. One. And two. Perfect, you ready to rinse and repeat? Make any weight changes, grab a quick drink if you need it. Grab a seat on the floor, chair, workout bench, stability ball. We got five presses, here we go. Five, four, keep those eyes up. Three, abs nice and tight, two, one more. Getting that bicep to ear, switch it out. Here it is, five, four, Three, nice work. Two, last one. You got it, all right. Push up with that reach. Using a weight or not. Remember, you can always elevate your hands off the floor if you need to. Get yourself set up. Here we go. Drop it down. Reach straight out, good. Two, if you are on your toes, get those feet nice and wide. Nice big base of support. Remember, same thing can be done from the knees. Nice, there's your five. Let's switch back. Set it up. Here we go. Five. Reach. Four. Perfect. Three. Remember, we're reaching for 12 o'clock. Last two. 
One more. Perfect. All right, get those weights out of the way. Tricep push-ups. Work those hands in closer. Right underneath the shoulders, knees or toes. Here we go, drop it down. Five. Four. You got it. Three. Elbows are tucked in. Two. One more, one more. Come on up. All right, I need one dumbbell. One arm clean to overhead press. Pick the side, left or right. Put that shoulder back. Here we go. Clean it up. Hup. And get that bicep to ear. Good. Sit those hips back. Zip up that coat. Bicep to ear at the top. Nice work. Last three. We're using that momentum of getting out of the squat to get the weight to the shoulder. One more. Sit it back. Hup. Perfect. Let's switch it up. Same thing other side. Let's go. Zip. Press. Nice. Eyes up. Keep those abs nice and tight. Your dumbbell. Close to the body. Close, close, close. Drop that elbow. Press it up. Good. Two more. Hup. And last one. We got that goblet squat. And we're going to go for 10 reps. Change up your weight if you want. You can even go body weight. Just make it fist. Here it is. 10. 9. 8. Push those hips back. 7. 6. Keep your chest up. 5. 4. Squeeze that butt on the way up. 2 more. Up. And 2. Good. Let's swing it out. Dumbbell or kettlebell you choose. So soften the knees. Hips are back. Pull those shoulders back. Keeping the chest up. Here it is. High pass. Swing through. We are using the momentum of getting out of that deadlift position to move the weight. You don't physically lift your weight. It's all momentum driven. In five, four, three, two, last one. Park that weight. We have five deadlifts. Get your weight, bring it in front, pull those shoulders back. Here we go. We have five. You got it. Four. Get that nice stretch in the hamstring. Three. Two. One more, one more. Nice work. All right, we got one round left. Meet me down on the floor. Remember, we got that one dumbbell. We're going to tighten up that core. Keep those shoulders pulled back. Here we go. Five. Four, three, nice work. Two, one more, one more. Swap it out. Good, here it is. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, you got that push up with the reach, knees or toes. Remember, you can elevate your hands, but don't use a dumbbell if you are doing that. Get your feet wide if you're on your toes. Here we go. Five. Reach. Four. Keep those eyes on the floor. Squeeze your butt. Abs are tight. Nice. We got one more. Excellent. Swap it out. Here we go. Five. Hook. Four. Nice. Three. Two. You got it. And one. Perfect. Let's get that weight out of the way. Tricep push-ups. Bring those hands in under the shoulders. Knees or toes. Here we go. Five. Four. Good. Elbows are tucked. Three. I do not care how low you go. Woo. Last one. Perfect. Come on up. Grab one dumbbell. One arm clean to overhead press. Five left. Five right. Here we go, zip up that coat, Hup. get that weight overhead, nice, eyes up, chest up, keeping those abs nice and tight, push those hips back, nice, two more, Hup. and last one, we're going to flow right into that other side, going for five, here it is, five, and press, nice, Four, up, three, 
Once we are done, two more. We have that goblet squat for 10. Last one. You can hold a dumbbell, you can hold a kettlebell, you can make a fist and go body weight. Feet a little wider. Here we go. 10, 9. See if you can sit a little lower. Can you get those elbows to your knees? Push the floor away with those feet. Squeeze that butt on the way up. I need four more. Four, three, two, last one. All right, we got our 10 swings, dumbbell or kettlebell. Find your weight. Set it up, knees soft, hips back. Pull those shoulders back, eyes are up. Let's go, high pass, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, last one. Park it. All right, let's finish with those deadlifts. Grab two weights for me. Hands in front. Shoulders are back. Let's go. We have five. Stand tall. Four. You got it. Three. Two more, two more. Two. Last one. Perfect. Grab some water. Woo, catch your breath. All right, you ready for some core work? We're gonna hit the deck. You're gonna need one weight for me. If you want to use a weight, totally up to you. We have Russian twist and glute hip bridges. So that is what the weight is for, but it can all be done body weight as well. We're gonna do 35 seconds on, 10 seconds off. No more counting. Move number one. I want you to come back onto your forearms and we're gonna pull those feet up off the floor. This is our starting position. We're gonna drop our knees to the left or to the right from here. I want you to extend the legs as much as you can. Pull them in. Use those obliques to pull back to middle. Same thing on the other side. You can make this move as big or as small as you need to. Here we go. Drop, extend. Pull back, nice. Take your time. There is no rush in these movements. Go as slow as you need to so that you can feel the abdominals doing their job. Good. We have 15 seconds left. From here, we're gonna roll over for plank shoulder taps. In five, four, three, Two, there it is. So everybody's on their hands, either from the knees or the toes. You choose. We're gonna pop it up into our nice high plank position. Tap a shoulder, set it down, tap a shoulder. Now the wider you get your feet, the easier it is to keep those hips square to the floor. The closer you bring them together, more of a challenge. Good. I'm gonna find a happy medium. Keep those abs tight, squeeze your butt. 15 seconds left. You got it. And then once we are done here, we're gonna roll back over onto our back. V, sit, tucks. Three, two, there it is, flip it over. Legs straight out, arms above the head for me. Option one, come in with two knees. Option two, alternate singles or just lift the shoulder. You do not need to sit all the way up. What I do need you to do is use those abdominals to lift the shoulders and to pull the knees in. That's what I want you to focus on. Good. Drive that belly button into the floor. Use those abdominals, make them work, come on. Again, slow it down if you need to. We got five seconds. And then glute hip bridges. You got it, grab your weight if you're using. Put it across the hips. Get those heels close to your butt. Push through the heels. Get up on your shoulder blades. Squeezing your butt as much as you can. Tap the floor. Squeeze and lift again. Hold for an extra second at the top. If that helps you, Feel those glutes contract. 
That's it. Get up as high as you can. Come on. And when the timer goes, you're going to keep your dumbbell, if you want, for some Russian twists. You got it. Come on. Perfect. Setting it up for me. With or without a weight. If you want to go body weight, just make a fist. Let's lean it back. Tuck that belly button in. We're going to go from hip to hip, side to side. If you want to make it harder, get those feet up. You got it. Now, if you start to feel your lower back, I want you to put your feet down or sit up taller. That's your adjustment. I've got about 15 seconds left. We're going to do some reverse crunches. And then, we're back to the top. Good, that's it, come on. In four, three, two, and one. Good, set that weight off to the side. So, we're going to relax the upper body. We're going to tuck those hands under the hips, knees at 90 degrees. Tuck that pelvis under, use those abdominals to pull the knees into the chest. Good. You got it. You can make this movement as big or as small as you need to. But when the timer goes, we're back to the top. With the rotating abdominals with that leg extension. So we're going to prop ourselves up onto the elbows again. Woo! You got it. There it is. Come on up for me. All right, hang out. Just relax on those elbows. Bring those knees up for me. Tuck the belly button in. Drop the knees. Extend. Pull back. Now you can make this movement as big or as small as you need to. The more you drop the knees towards your floor, the more challenging. Good. You got it. Take your time. Think about what those obliques are doing as you pull those knees back up to the center. You got it. We got less than 10. You flip it over. Plank shoulder taps. You got it. There it is. All right, knees or toes, but everybody's on their hands. We're going to tap those shoulders out. In three, two, here we go. Eyes are on the floor. Squeeze your butt. Pull the belly button up into the spine. Start on the toes. Drop down to the knees if you need to. You got it. Take a little mini break, pop back in. I need about 15 seconds. We got those V-sit tucks coming up in 10. Come on. In five, four, three, two. There it is. Roll it over. Legs straight out, arms above the head. Remember, you can come up with two legs or one. Sit all the way up, just lift the shoulders. Here we go. I want you to tuck that belly button. Use those abs. Lift the shoulders, pull those knees in. Nice. Even if you do one, sitting all the way up with two knees, and then drop it down to singles. Maybe just do one on each side. And then drop it down. Just lift the shoulders. You got it. Make it challenge you. Good. All right, we got less than five. Glute hip bridges. Get ready to grab that dumbbell. Perfect. Grab your weight. If you're using, remember you don't have to, get it on your hips. Heels close to your butt. Push through the heels. Get up onto those shoulder blades. Tap the floor. Squeeze and lift again. Nice. Hold for an extra second at the top if you need to. You got it. Once we have done our hip bridges, we have our Russian twist, with or without weight. You choose. Remember, you can always do a bit of both. Five seconds. Get ready to sit it up. Perfect. Come on up. Remember, feet can be on or off the floor, but we're going to tuck that belly button into the spine. Lean it back. Bring that weight hip to hip. 
Lift the feet if you want more of a challenge. Good. If you start to feel your lower back, you know what to do. Feet go down or, and or, sit up taller in your posture. Good, 15 more seconds, come on. We got one move left, that reverse crunch, and then you're done. 10 seconds, come on. In five, four, three, two, perfect. Get that weight out of the way. We're on our back. We're gonna tuck the hands under the hips. Tuck that pelvis under, pull the knees into the chest. I want you to focus on what those abdominals are doing. Don't just swing the legs in and out. Good, make that mind-muscle connection. Picture it in your head. Picture that belly button coming down in the spine. Picture those abdominals contracting and your knees moving. You got it, come on, four seconds. Woo. Done and done. Flip it over for me. Woo. Fly right down onto your stomach. Bring your hands under the shoulders. And we're gonna come up into a cobra stretch. I want you to let the hips relax. I want you to let the shoulders relax, keep those elbows in, and slowly start to bring your eyes up to the ceiling. Nice. From here, we're gonna come back into child's pose. So I want you to sit back on your heels, reach those hands out in front like there's something that you wanna grab. And then we're gonna shift our weight forward again, hands under the shoulders, let those hips drop. Let those eyes come up. See if you can get a little deeper into Cobra. And then pushing those hips back again. Reach those hands out in front, sit those hips back. I want you to walk your hands either to the left or right side of your mat. Coming back to the middle, other side. And then back to the middle. Nice. Good. Come on up. Hands and knees. We're going to flex the feet. I want you to push those hips up. Heels come into the floor. Feel free to pedal out the feet. You're going to bring one leg up towards the ceiling. Bring that knee to the same wrist. Slide the other leg back. You can stay up nice and tall to stretch out through that hip. Or you can work your way down closer to the floor to get a little deeper into the stretch. When you feel that tension in the stretch, when the hips start to fade away, I want you to pop it back up onto the hands, flex that back foot, get those hips up, bring the other leg up, bring that knee to the same elbow, or same wrist, slide that back leg back, stay nice and tall, or work your way down towards the floor for a deeper hip stretch. Hang out in here, hang out in this position until you feel any tension in that hip start to fade away. And then we'll work our way back up onto the hands. We're gonna flex that back foot again, get those hips up. And we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands and hang like a right doll. I want you to push those shoulder blades Arch through the back, and then slowly stand it up, vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing those shoulders down and back. We're gonna interlace those hands and let's open up through the chest. Shoulders are down, chest is out. Taking one or two nice big deep breaths, we're gonna bring one arm across the body. Nice stretch around the back of the shoulder, and then switching sides whenever you're ready. Give yourself a nice big old pat on the back. Let's give quick tricep stretch, pushing that elbow back behind the head. And then switching sides whenever you're ready. And we'll finish off with your quad. So grabbing onto an ankle, hold on to something if you need to. Glue the knees together, push your hips forward. And then switching sides whenever you're ready. Grab your ankle, knees together. 
Hips come forward. And job well done. Nice work. We had some fun moves in there. The push up with the reach. I haven't done that in a long 